Hey babes, my name is Sarai and this is Sarai Has Sense. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are returning, you are so, so appreciated and I'm so happy to have you here with me for another Fragrance Friday. And if you are new, my name is Sarai. I do videos on all things fragrance, luxury, and lifestyle. And if any of that is your thing, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this fragrance video if you care, and never, girl, forget to smash that bell icon so you are always notified when your girl uploads. So per the title and the thumbnail, as you guys seen, today we will be discussing my perfume dents. This is actually the first time I've ever done a video like this. I wanted to bring you guys a video of like empties, but I'm just like, I have more dents than empties. So let's do a perfume dents video, okay? And um, in today's video, I'm not really gonna go through the notes or anything like that. I'm just gonna, you know, show you guys basically some of my favorite fragrances out of my collection. Obviously, that's why they're dented, okay? So let's hop right into this video. The first perfume we are going to discuss in today's perfume dense video is Givenchy's Irresistible. This is the EDP, you guys. This is the OG. This is the original, okay? I absolutely love this fragrance. I absolutely love all the fragrances that I'm going to talk about today, obviously. That's why they have dents in them. Again, I'm not going to be going through the notes, but you guys see the dent. So you see the love that I have for this particular fragrance. This, you guys, is floral, and it's fresh, and it's girly, and it's perfect for the um, springtime, the summertime. This fragrance smells so, so good, you guys. Again, obviously why I have a dent in it. Um, I would, I would say that this is, let me see. No, I'm lying. The longevity on here is, is good. The longevity on Givenchy's Irresistible is actually really good. Um, they do actually have a new one that just dropped. I'm going to put the picture in this corner here. It's like, uh, you know, Givenchy's Irresistible, very floral. And I really, really want to get my nose on that. Um, for some reason, when I was looking on Ulta, they basically said that it was like only online. And you know i don't want to buy it and i don't like it so i really want to try to like get my nose on it somewhere so if you guys have any like you know suggestions on where i can like get my nose on this or well on the new one i'm sorry then please let me know because um also right now is just saying like it's only online and i don't feel like i can blind buy it just yet so yeah you guys if you have any suggestions on where i can get the very floral one from then just let me know or where i can put get my nose on it let me know please in the comments below but if you don't have javinci's irresistible the original the edp that girl okay then you're definitely gonna want her in your collection she smells so good again she's fresh she's floral she's perfect for the summer longevity is great it's about average i'm not gonna say it's great it's average it's about six hours you're gonna have to touch up after about six hours but that's normally you know that's the normal uh longevity on fragrances unless it's like niche y'all already know okay so again if you don't have javinci irresistible in your collection then definitely grab it you won't be disappointed moving on up next on our perfume dense video we have carolina herrera's a very good girl if you know, you know, this is definitely like a OG perfume when it comes to the perfume world. Um, absolutely love this fragrance. Again, I told you guys, I'm probably going to say that about every fragrance on here, hence the dents. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put this up close so you guys can really get a vibe of that dent. I actually need another bottle. Um, I did get the one fluid ounce, you guys. I am a huge like one fluid ounce girl. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I am a heavy one fluid ounce, maybe 1.7 ounce girl only because 
I have a lot of fragrances and I don't really like to purchase like the big bottles because I feel like I'm never going to get through them. So I really like to um, purchase the one fluid ounce, the 1.7, you know, different things like that because yeah, it, it helps me get through the, the perfume just a, a tad bit better if you understand what I'm saying. Um, this you guys has hints of like, this is sweet. Oh my God, this is like sour. Um, but it's a sweet and sour that you're literally going to fall in love with, you guys. I absolutely love this fragrance. Like, and I haven't sprayed it in a while. It's making me want to spray it. Oh, my God. I haven't sprayed this in a while. But again, as you guys can see, I definitely need to pick me up a new bottle. Like, this is definitely almost gone at this point. And, like, again, hence the dents. I love, love, love this fragrance. Um, I do get some type of floral in here as well, but this is more uh, sweet and sour to me. I really, really enjoy this, you guys. Um, when I do repurchase this, though, and, and this is just this particular fragrance in particular, okay? I think I'm going to get the big bottle, okay? I think I'm going to get the big bottle um, only because, like, this is, like, a true love of mine. Um, this wasn't one of my first fragrances that I bought. Um, when I was purchasing fragrances, but it was kind of like my mid gal. So like when I started purchasing fragrances, I would get like things like, um, Ariana Grande cloud and, um, uh, just different, uh, not, of course not niche, not super like, um, high end fragrances, but just, you know, those mid ones, I think, like I said, I, I am going to repurchase this, but um, once I finish using this, I'm probably going to get the big bottle because it's, it's just that good. Like, I'm going to get the big bottle because this fragrance is just that good, you guys. Like, and I just feel like I need the big bottle for this particular fragrance in particular. <laughs> okay, I know I said I'm a one fluid ounce girl. And again, as I go through the perfumes, you guys will see that most of them are one fluid ounce, 1.7, different things like that. But this fragrance is just so sexy to me. It's so grown woman yet um, kind of fun and flirty. And so I definitely want to grab the big bottle of this one. If you don't have Carolina Herrera's Very Good Girl, you definitely need to get your nose on it. And you definitely need to purchase it. You won't be disappointed. Moving on. The next fragrance we are going to discuss is from the house of Valentino, and that is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. This is the original, you guys. I'm going to turn it to the side so you can see the dent. It's kind of moving around a lot. But um, as you guys can see, I have a nice, a pretty nice dent in this one. I, if you, again, are just like an OG you know, person when it comes to perfumes, then you guys know that Valentino Born in Roma is like top tier um this does have hints of like pink pepper um which honestly you guys i'm not really a fan of if it's not done right but in this the pink pepper is like done so so good it's done so good i absolutely absolutely love it and again this one is floral um it has pink pepper it's fresh like i just really enjoy this fragrance the longevity on valentino donna's born in roma the edp it is long. Um, I do spray this. I mean, if I spray this in my clothes, I will smell it the next day. And really quick, you guys, when you're ironing your clothes for the day, like if you're going out with your girls and you want to put a scent on, when you're ironing your clothes, do me this one favor, okay? Have your spray that you're wearing for that day next to you while you're ironing, okay? When you are done ironing your shirt or what have you, make sure to spray your clothes while it is still hot while your clothes are still hot from the iron okay and um you're probably like you're, you're gonna love me okay so just do what i'm saying whether it's your jeans your pants your sweatpants whatever you got going on that day if you're going out and you want to smell really really good all day and you want to just be smelled in the wind and different things like that take your fragrance Put it next to you while you're ironing your clothes and while your clothes are still hot like as soon as you take the iron off the shirt go ahead and spray you definitely won't be disappointed if you don't have valentino donna's born in roma in your collection you definitely definitely need it you're gonna love her top tier moving on 
Next up, you guys, we have Edol Now. I'm gonna put it up so you guys can see the dent in this one. It's not as deep as my other ones, but I still feel like it has a nice dent in it, and I really enjoy this fragrance. I love this fragrance. <laughs> Again, hence the dents. I love the fragrance. Um, this one is just super floral. Like I can't really, guys, give you any other note besides floral. It is very, very, very floral. But I really, really enjoy this fragrance. Um, again, as you can see, this is the one. Yeah, I have the one fluid ounce of this. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but like the ones that are like taller and different things like that, that's when you start going up in the size, of course, of the of the Edol, of the Edol's period. But this one is the one fluid ounce. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with the one fluid ounce when it does come to Edol. So if I do run out of this, I'm probably gonna purchase me another one fluid ounce. Um, but this smells so good, you guys. So floral, so sexy, definitely grown. Um, yeah, you won't go wrong with this one. You can definitely wear this maybe on a date. You can wear this out with your girls as well. Um, let's see, what would I do this more? Like what am I leaning towards more? For this one, I think I would lean more towards the girls, okay? Going out with the girls, going on a little date with your um, girlfriend or going to brunch or just going out like shopping or anything of the sort. This is a really, really great fragrance. Um, the longevity on this is really, really good. It lasts long, definitely. And again, if you're ever ironing your clothes, you guys, make sure to spray them while they're still hot with your fragrance. You're gonna smell good all day. People are gonna smell you in the wind. All of that good stuff. If you don't have Edol now in your collection, definitely grab it. You won't be disappointed unless you don't like floral like that. <laughs> so get your nose on it first. How about that? Get your nose on it first, you guys, and then see if you like it. And if you do, definitely purchase it. Moving on. Alrighty, so next up, you guys, we actually have a complete empty. <laughs> and again, I don't have many empties, but yeah so this one is a complete empty this is the turkish rose this is a nest i'm sorry turkish rose perfume oil um i did have it in the travel size i literally just recently bought me like a new a new one because i ran out of this i love 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 oh my god i love this perfume oil and it goes so well with so many different fragrances so this and like putting it together with valentino's born in roma putting it together with javinci irresistible just some of the ones that i mentioned in this video it goes so well with it okay so like definitely try to use this when it comes to combos you guys but yeah as you can see completely empty completely empty And I don't need y'all coming for me. I know that Turkish Rose has a bigger bottle, but right now I am sticking with the travel sizes, you guys. The um, the actual bottle is um, a tad bit expensive for me right now. So again, I'm sticking with the travel size, which I don't have an issue with. And just for all the girlies out there, if you like just don't have enough money at the time to purchase you a full bottle of something, it is okay to get the travel size. It literally smells the same. It does the same thing. It gives the same longevity or what have you. And speaking of longevity, the longevity on this is really, really good. And again, if you mix it, combine it with any other fragrance that is floral um that has like a rose note to it it will last like 10 times longer so yeah you guys if you don't have the nest turkish rose perfume oil in your collection i'm telling you to grab it you can blind buy it you can do any of that because this literally smells so 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 good and you get that rose you get that you get that Turkish rose, you get that floral, like it's just, it's it's perfect. So yeah, you guys, if you don't have it, definitely grab it, okay? Moving on. Last but not least on our Perfume Dents video, we have YSL Libre, the EDT. I know, I know. You guys, I literally have every single last YSL Libre flanker, okay? And all of them smell absolutely amazing, okay? But for some reason, the EDT, this is the EDT that we're talking about, you guys, is just like, honestly, my favorite, okay? It, it, it gives me, it kind of veers off from 
the original Libre, if I'm being 100% honest. It veers off. This one in Absolute Plantain, in my opinion, kind of veers off from the original Libre. And I think that's what I like about it the most. So really quickly, I'm going to show you the dent that we have in here. And this is the big, a big bottle. I don't know what fluid ounce I have. So I'm going to check that out for you guys really quickly. Um, this is the... Yeah, this is the three fluid ounce. So I have the, the big bottle of the YSL EDT. You guys, this smells absolutely amazing. Where can you wear this? This is definitely date night worthy with your man. Okay, um, you can wear this with the girls, but I would suggest you can, you know, you wear this out on a date with your husband or your man or your boyfriend or your significant other, period. You know, y'all come home, y'all do the do. Like this is, this is that, okay? This gives me that vibe. Um, it's great for the summertime. Again, this one is like really fresh. This does have like a, a fresh, like floral type of feel in my opinion to it. Not too floral, but just more fresh than anything. Um, I really like even even where this sits at in my um in my little uh like collection. This is like in miscellaneous because I really don't know like wh where to put this at. Again, like it's not super floral. It gives me more fresh than floral, but I still feel like I get a floral in there. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and sit this with the with my floral collection. But anyway, you guys, that's besides the point. I absolutely love this fragrance. The longevity on all the YSO fragrances are top tier. Um again, take this to your hot clothes after you iron it and spray it down and you will smell like this all day that day all day the next day and probably the next day that's how good the longevity is on YSL Libre and again that's for all of them the original the EDT L'Absolute Plantain the Le Parfum and so on and so forth um I really love this fragrance. If you don't have a YSL Libre anything in your collection, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna grab it. But I would suggest if you're not a person that likes like anything super strong, that you really try the EDT first, okay? And see how you like it because you really, really might like it more than the other ones. Again, it kind of veers off from that Libre profile um, and that's why I really enjoy it. I really, really love this fragrance, you guys. And again, if you don't have her, definitely get her because you need her in your collection, okay? Moving on. And that is it for today's fragrance video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this fragrance video if you care. And don't forget to smash that bell icon so you are always notified when your girl uploads. Thank you for being with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.